Brianna, thank you. And now to our other top story tonight, a sad loss for the Jacksonville community. Judy Coughlin, the wife of Jaguars former head coach Tom Coughlin died today. She was 77. And on your side, Jeannie Blaylock is joining us now in the studio with more on Judy's life and legacy, Jeannie. Well, Judy was fighting a brain disorder and had been for about five years. Coach Coughlin revealed her diagnosis in a guest column published in the New York Times last year. Judy had what is called progressive supranuclear palsy. It affects the ability to walk, to speak, to think, to control body movements, and there was no cure. Judy and Tom Coughlin were married for a long time, more than 50 years, and they had four children and 11 grandchildren. And I'd like to read you part of the statement today from Coach Coughlin and his family. It says, Judy was a remarkable woman in every way. She lived a life filled with love and unselfishly gave her heart and soul to others. Judy made you feel like an old friend from the first hug to the last. She was a mother to all on and off the field. And the Jacksonville Jaguars have released a statement as well this afternoon. It reads in part, quote, the hearts of the Jaguars faithful are heavy today with the passing of Judy Coughlin, who alongside her husband Tom helped lay the foundation of our franchise for more than a quarter century. It continues and says, may Judy's tireless commitment to caring for children and families impacted by cancer continue to inspire us all. And I know this isn't a very fancy thing to say, but she was so nice. And I mean that, and an enormous compliment. I remember years ago when the Jaguars played the Jets, we all went up to New York, and it was the playoffs. And I asked Judy if I could interview her, and she said, sure, just come up to my seats. Now, I figured she'd be in a box, right? But no, they put the wife of the opposing head coach way up in the regular seats in that Jets stadium. Now, nothing against New York, but the Jet fans were screaming, Jets, 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 and they were throwing stuff and pushing on her and shoving her. She was all jammed in there. But did she gripe? No. Did she get grumpy for a second? No, I got to her and she just gave me that big, wonderful smile and she said, I am proud to be here with our Jaguars. Always gracious, always nice. Our prayers go out to Tom Coughlin and his family tonight for sure. In the newsroom, Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News on your side. What a touching story. Thank you, Jeannie.